I've always been a very curious child. There's a lot of things out there and the world feels like a massive playground. It makes me want to explore and try new things and connect the dots between different subjects. I'm the founding CEO of Neurobay and what we do is that we build AI software to recognize people, objects and text through images and videos. For instance, we help airports monitor the movements of airplanes and vehicles on the apron, which is the area beside the runway. When we put a camera at the front of a shop's window display, we can count the number of people walking past, we can gauge their age and gender. When we have a camera in the shop, we can count the number of times a person picks up a product or track the person's journey throughout the shop. All these data captured will help both MNCs and boutique shops make better business decisions. I want to make AI accessible and affordable for small businesses because they're left behind in the innovation race. I graduated with a degree in mathematics and after that, I did some hackathons and built some robots for National Geographic. At 23, I had a startup that built processing bots that other software companies can put their AI software on. So while most people manage their time, I prefer to manage my energy. When I was 12 or 13, I would be up to 4 a.m. just sliding down the rabbit hole, reading everything I could find, from the Loch Ness Monster to the Theory of Relativity, everything. She's quite different from the rest because as a child, she tells me she wants to grow up to be a cashier so that she can collect money. Not, not collect, count. Count, count money. Okay. You know? <laughs> you know, being a cashier was the only career that I knew when I was young that actually could count money for a living. Maybe that's why I studied math. Okay. I go, I seek out exciting activities. For instance, I went flyboarding in Iran, I went sandboarding down the slopes of the Sahara Desert, and I ran the Pyongyang Marathon in North Korea. I also love attending festivals because I get to connect with people from very different backgrounds over our common love for food, music, and dancing. I met Annabelle when we were actually prepping for an event called Burning Man in the US. I've known Annabelle since we were 15 years old. We were classmates at Tomatic JC. So one of the things that I like about Annabelle is that she's actually really energetic. And her energy is like super infectious. Every time we go out, she's always the one that's making a lot of noise. Yes, and I love that she's like not afraid to <laughs> be herself, be silly and have fun. That's true, but also at the same time, she has a serious side to her, especially towards her work, she's super focused. Yes, and she also takes care of the people around her, always looking out for others, and I mean, she has a really good heart. That's true. When you are constantly working, it's very easy to tunnel vision and think that the entire world revolves around deadlines and money. But when you volunteer, it puts life into perspective and it helps you see what really matters. And it's a very timely reminder to see what's important. I believe that giving back doesn't always have to take the form of time and money. It can also be in terms of knowledge and skills. Technology moves at a very unforgiving pace, but what I hope and will try to keep constant is for Neurobay to always be a vehicle to do social good.